All right, today I'm gonna attempt to get rid of string algae. This is this nasty stuff that grows on the rocks. It just, it's, either, it's just so thick that it dams the water up on the waterfalls. It's just nasty stuff. Um, I cleaned this out completely a week ago. It took about an hour. And as you can see, it's all back again. The whole waterfalls is covered with this stuff. Just covered with it. And um, it's in the pond too. I don't mind it in the pond because the fish eat it. As long as it doesn't take over. Now, what I'm going to use is sodium percarbonate. All right, sodium percarbonate. I don't know if you can see there or not. I got this stuff on eBay. Uh, Three dollars a pound. I got five, five pounds of it. You can throw it directly in the pond at the rate of, I believe, it's two two pounds per thousand gallons of water. I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to shut my waterfalls down and I'm going to sprinkle it all over this stuff. Now, if you have a pond that's just green and not uh, not clear like you would like to have it then this really isn't what you're going to be using. I have another video on uh, for a UV light. So if you've got pea green water, you're sick of looking at that, then check out my other video on installing a UV light. But for right now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the waterfalls down. I'm going to put this stuff on, let it sit for about a half an hour, and see what see what happens. Uh, I'll let you be the judge of it. It's the first for me, so I can't tell you what to expect. All right, so here goes. Okay, I've sprinkled it all over the the rocks on top of the string algae, and uh, I'm going to let this sit, as I said, for about a half an hour. I don't know how much I put on. I just kept you know spraying it on until it was covered. So I'm going to wait about a half an hour, and I'm going to turn the waterfalls on again. Now, <clears throat> according to what I've read, this is perfectly safe for fish. Uh, so I, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't use it if it wasn't safe. But you know, little fish in there they they seem to be happy, so we'll keep them happy. All right. So anyhow, so. That's it. I'm going to wait for a half an hour or so, and then I'm going to turn the water back on, see what happens with it. It's been 20 minutes so far, and it's starting to turn. Uh, you can see a little brown in the edges. It's lighter green than it was. Uh, I don't think a half hour is going to do it, though. So I'm going to, I'm just going to let it sit until it looks like it's ready. I. I don't know what that's going to, you know, I don't know what it's going to look like, and I don't know when it's going to be ready, but uh, I don't think it's going to be ready in a half an hour. So, uh, but it is changing color. It's definitely, it's definitely changing color. By the way, this is the same stuff that that you get in OxyClean, only you probably pay 10 times more than you do by getting just the generic product. So, anyhow, uh, keep letting it go, see what it, see what it happens with it. Okay, I left on a lot longer than I thought I was going to. It's been on now for two and a half, yeah, two and a half hours. Uh, as I said, I don't know what to expect, but I can see that when I pull it, it's it's not stuck as much as it used to be. It's it it, it comes off. So the problem is. It's getting late at night, and if I shut this off tonight, and if it starts coming off of the rocks, then it could very well clog up my pump. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this stuff sit all night, and uh, tomorrow I'm going to put the pump back on. And once I get the pump on, 
I'll see if this comes off. Now, from past experience, I can't even get it off with a wire brush. So, if this comes off with the water, that would be great. And if it doesn't come off with the water, it would still be great if I could simply brush it off. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. As I said, I don't want to turn it on at this at this time of night because I don't want to clog up my pump should it all loosen up. So anyhow, uh, I'll report back tomorrow and you know we'll, we'll see how it works. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't work. Okay, it's been 14 hours. I was planning on letting go for a half an hour, but 14 hours is gonna kill it as much as it can. Uh, I noticed almost 100% of the white is, is gone there's still a few of the crystals left, but other than that, all the crystals have gone. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to turn the, turn the waterfalls back on and see what happens with this algae that is uh, still on the, the rocks and the liner. And as I said, if in fact uh, it comes off, that would be great. If it doesn't come off, I'm going to brush it, and uh, we'll see. Uh, maybe I have to put another coat on. I don't know. I've never done it before, so uh, we'll see what happens next. Uh, it is starting to wash off with the water. However, it's not just disappearing like I hoped it would do. So I am going to try brushing it, and... Let's see what happens. Uh, when it, before I put this stuff on, I would have to brush it with a wire brush, and even then, it wouldn't come off. So I'm gonna try it with this brush. All right, it is coming off. It's definitely coming off. Uh, I think what the issue is, is this is just so thick that uh, what it does is it kills it, but it's, it doesn't release it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush this all down, and then I think I'll spray in, I'll sprinkle another coat on and to get the stuff that's remaining. Because as you can see, there's still... There's still some green, there's still some green on it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to brush this all down, sprinkle another coat on, give it a second try. And see what, see what two coats will do for it. And we'll report back. All right, it definitely killed it. Uh, and what it does is it just comes down and globs after you brush it. So I guess what the secret is, is get it before it gets as bad as what I had and uh, put it on and hopefully uh, it'll kill it and wash it away. In this situation where it was an inch thick, uh, I, I thought that it would just kill it and go away, but it, apparently it doesn't. So, as you can see, though, I can just, I just pull it right back out. So I did brush it, and it's coming off the rocks, but it is leaving a little on there still. So I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to shut it down. I'm going to put another batch on and uh, let it sit for a while and see what happens with it. Right, I put the second coat on, and you can see that some areas are turning brown. But for the most part, it's still green. And uh, I tried scrubbing it, and it really doesn't scrub off the rocks completely. So, it, it is turning colors, though. 
I don't know whether or not it's going to work as well as I had hoped it would, although I did put some in the pond in a troubled area, and as you can see, it's clearly turning it's clearly turning that brown. It's definitely killing that. So the only difference is the pond is wetter than the waterfalls. So I don't know what what it is. If maybe it needs more water. Maybe this is going to be completely cleared up in a couple days. But I don't think that I don't think that it's going to kill it any more than it already has. You can see it's still they're still green. I do have to say though it's a thousand percent better than it was when I first started it. Uh, a lot of it has to do with the fact that I did brush it off, but at least I was able to brush it off, where in the past I haven't really been able to brush it off. So what I'm going to do is let this sit for just a few more minutes. Like I say, it's been a half hour. Let us sit for a few more minutes, turn the waterfalls on, and just let this run for a couple days and see what happens. Usually this stuff will come back within, uh, within two days. It'll come back with a vengeance. And if it doesn't come back as bad as it, as bad as it was, then I guess it's a success. If it does come back, then I guess it's not a success. So anyhow, you be the judge. Um, it's an easy process, and it might be that I just have too much string algae, but I can't imagine too much not being able to be killed. But we'll see. Uh, we'll give it a couple more days and, and see if it comes back. There you go. Last thing before I turn the waterfalls on. Uh, I decided to hose it down. Obviously, it's not going to work if it's dry. So I, I hosed everything down, and I'm going to let it sit sit like this for a little while longer before I turn the waterfalls on. Because once I put that falls on, everything's going to wash away. So I'm just going to let it sit in the water for a little while longer, and uh, hopefully, hopefully that'll kill some more of it. It is bubbling up more. Uh, it wasn't bubbling like this before, so, you know, I'm going to try it. Try it with a little wetter for a little while longer and uh, give it another chance. All right, it's been two days, and I'm going to rate this 100% successful. What's happened is the algae that was on the rocks... As you can see, is it's just falling right off. Uh, the rocks are clear now, and I'm some more. Yeah, see, it just it just comes right off now. So the rocks are the rocks are all clear. There's a couple that are a little sticky still, but other than that, from what it was when I started. A day ago, it's amazing. It really is. It's all cleared up. So I'm going to rate this as 100% effective, and I'll be doing it again. Hope this has helped anybody out there.